Welcome to Speak English Now podcast with your host, Georgiana. The podcast that will help you to speak English fluently with no grammar and no textbooks. Hi, dear students. I'm Georgiana, founder of SpeakEnglishPodcast.com. My mission is to help you to speak English fluently. Speaking English is way easier when you use the right material and techniques. Although we don't celebrate Valentine's Day this time of the year, I think as Christmas approaches, many of us spend more time with our partners. So today, I want to introduce some funny but useful compliments that will make your significant other feel special. There are many kinds of compliments, good, bad, original, ordinary, or funny ones. If you still don't know what they are, don't worry, because I'll explain it to you. Next, we will practice fluency with a mini-story on a very special competition related to today's topic. Remember that you can get the text of the episode at speakenglishpodcast.com. As I said, today I'm going to talk about compliments, but first... Let's define what they are. A compliment is basically a brief comment on an attribute or quality of a person. There are many types. And perhaps it's more common to say a compliment to a woman. Although I think nowadays there are more and more women who compliment men. I have to say some compliments are tasteless. That is to say they are rude and instead create the opposite sense of what is intended. My intention in this episode is to analyze some compliments I find to be especially witty or funny. Well, let's see the first one. I don't have a favorite color. It's pretty much whatever you're wearing. This is beautiful, and you can use it to congratulate a woman you're already dating. Let her know that you have noticed the color of her dress. Many women love it when our partners pay attention to what we're wearing. Okay, let's listen to another one. I can't take my eyes off of you unless you notice me. Then I'll quickly look away and act like it never happened. Sometimes, at the beginning of a relationship, you start doing silly things you've never done before. Although it may sound silly, it would be super cool if you would compliment someone like that. Number three. I'd be so happy to spend every minute of every day with you. But some days, I have to do things. The reality is that as much as we would like to spend all our time with our loved one, it's practically impossible. At least it's not feasible in the long term since someone has to pay the bills. Number four. If you knew how much I think about you, I would be very embarrassed. If there is one person in your life who is always on your mind, don't be afraid to let them know with this honest compliment. Number five. It's not easy to be me, which is why I need you. I know, this one's a bit silly, but I think it's genuine and sweet. Whoever you tell this to, no matter if it's a man or a woman, will appreciate your honesty or at least make them smile. Number six. I think the hardest part about being your friend is pretending as though I like my other friends as much as I like you. How awesome is this one? You can tell this compliment to a woman as well as a man, especially when you've been friends for a while and you want to take the relationship a step further. Be careful not to let other friends hear you say this. Number seven. And how do you tell him or her that they are super attractive or hot? Well, like this. You might be the primary reason for global warming. 
you certainly don't want to scare them away by being too direct. So why not be a little poetic? This compliment is very original and amusing. Number eight. If there's a one thing I like about you, it's that I like more than one thing about you. Especially when you start dating someone, you tend to think they're absolutely perfect. I'm sure you could even make a list of all the things you like about him or her. So this compliment is for you if you're completely head over heels with someone. By the way, the expression head over heels means that you fell in love deeply and completely, especially all of a sudden. Number 9. Talking to you is the best part of my day, aside from when I'm sleeping and when I'm eating. Ha! I think this one is funny, original, and lovely at the same time. Of course, at some point of the day, we're going to have to eat and sleep. As much as we love to talk to our partner, we will have no choice but to do these two things. Otherwise, we will simply die of love. And now let's listen to number 10. You know what's awesome? Chocolate cake. Ah, uh, and your face. With this compliment, you're sure to make anyone laugh. And yet, it's a playful way of saying how much you like that person. Because who doesn't like chocolate cake? Well, I'm not into chocolate cake. I'm more of a carrot cake person. But that's another story. Alright, I know you love these kinds of lessons. So don't worry, because I will soon dedicate another episode on compliments. I'm curious to know one thing. Are there many compliments in your country? Or is it something more typical of the past? You can leave a comment on the page of this episode. You can find more episodes related to this topic on my website, speakenglishpodcast.com. Now let's practice your fluency with a mini-story. I use these kinds of story in my English courses since they are incredibly powerful. That's how it works. I say a phrase with information. Next, I ask some questions about that information. After each question, there is a pause. It's your turn to answer. After each pause, I give the correct answer. That's how I build the story. All right, here we go. David participated in complimentary competitions and he always won them. Did David win dance competitions? No, he didn't win dance competitions. He won compliment competitions. What were the competitions about? Compliments. The competitions were complimentary. Did he lose them or did he win them? He won them. He always won them. Emma also participated in complimentary competitions and beat all her opponents. Who also participated in complimentary competitions? Emma. Emma also participated in such competitions. Did Emma win the competitions? Yes. Emma beat all her opponents. Who did Emma beat? All her opponents. She beat them all. Did Emma beat eggs? No. 
No, no, not eggs. She beat her opponent. She won them just like David. One day, David and Emma faced each other in an amazing battle of compliments. Did David face Emma? Yes, he faced her. They faced each other in a battle of compliments. Who did Emma face? David. She confronted David. What was the battle about? What did it consist of? Compliments. The battle was one of compliments. The tension was so high that the public didn't dare breathe. Did the public dare to sigh? Not to sigh, to breathe. The audience didn't even breathe because of the tension. Why didn't the audience dare to breathe? Because the tension was very high. It was so high that no one dared to breathe. Who didn't dare breathe? David? No, not David. The audience. The audience didn't dare breathe. At the same time, Emma and David gave each other all sorts of powerful compliments. Did they compliment one after the other or at the same time? At the same time. They both said compliments at the same time. Immediately, the two fell madly in love with each other. Who fell in love? Both of them, David and Emma, the two fell in love with each other. How long did it take before they fell in love? No time passed because they immediately fell in love. Did they fall in love or did they just like each other? They fell in love. Falling in love, it's much more than just liking each other. That same day, they got married. And now they live happily with eight children. Did they get married on the same day or did they wait eight years? They got married on the same day. They didn't wait. They were so in love that they got married that same day. How do they live now? Are they sad or happy? They live happily. In other words, they live happily with eight children. How many children do they have? Eight. They have eight children. Perfect. This is the end of this short story. Did you like it? I love to add a little humor to these stories because they are easier to remember. And why not? You can enjoy listening English more. On my website, you can find courses with hours of mini stories and points of view lessons to take your English to the next level. This is my website, speakenglishpodcast.com. 
In the last few years, several thousand English students have chosen to learn English with my method. So I recommend you to do the same. This is the end of this episode. By the way, you don't need to send me compliments, but if you want, you can send me a message saying what you think about the podcast or my English courses. Just write a message and send it to info at speakenglishpodcast.com. Well, that's it for today. Take care. Bye bye. Did you enjoy today's episode? Get the transcript now at speakenglishpodcast.com. Speakenglishpodcast.com.